guys, my name is Shay and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about one of my favorite ships, Max and Helen, Sharp One from New Amsterdam. The idea for this video just came to me yesterday and I figured I'd post it today because a new episode comes on tonight. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get it. First off, I have to say that, that the main reason I got hooked on New Amsterdam in the first place is because of Max and Helen. I stay on social media and I saw a lot of buzz about these two and I was really curious. I went on YouTube and I just binge watched so many edits of them and I literally fell in love. It's funny because I remember watching a little bit of New Amsterdam one night and I didn't really have a reaction to it. I think I turned to it because I couldn't find anything else to watch. But the second that I watched so many edits of them on YouTube, I'm obsessed and I immediately started watching the show. I have got started watching, watching the show this year and I watch, binge watched the first season within a week. The second season took me a while to finish because of other stuff. And the third season I've been watching on Hulu the next day. The show is so amazing and it pulls in my heartstrings with every single episode. The cast is phenomenal and the storylines are so transparent and beautiful. It has truly become one of my favorite shows this year. Now, on to these lovebirds, Max and Helen, who I love so, 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 so much. From the moment that, that these two met in the lobby of New Amsterdam and Max said to Dora, I like her. Referring to Helen, I just knew that these two were meant to be together. Even though Helen is such a sweetheart and extremely polite, she has this fiery side to her, and I think that's something that Max is drawn to about her, amongst so many other reasons. <laughs> One of the many reasons as to why I love Sharp One so much is because of the chemistry. Ryan and Freeman do what needs to be done in every single scene. I read something recently that said that when Freeman and Ryan get the script and they play the authenticity of the scene, whatever comes out of it is real. They take what the writers put in the script and spin it on the day of filming. And that speaks volumes to their acting. It really does. I can only imagine what material was improvised and what wasn't because there are so many beautiful sharp one scenes. Whether it's a longing glance, certain expression on their faces, those one-liners that make all of our hearts melt, etc. <laughs> I love watching Ryan and Freema on screen and their performances are impeccable. Truly. These two have been through so much and they have come out on the other side stronger people. Helen has truly held Max down and been with him through everything. She never left his side, not once when he was battling cancer. And while that was going on, and, during, and even after that, every decision that she made was for him. And vice versa, Max being a continuous shoulder for Helen to lean on, while also showing her that it's okay to be vulnerable. Because especially in the beginning, Helen was definitely very closed off and not really one for showing emotion and feelings. And Max was one of the people to help her with that. He also got her to open up about her struggles of trying to have a baby. The way that they are when they are around each other and the way that they look into each other's eyes with so much love and adoration is beyond beautiful to me. <laughs> Two scenes that I want to talk about real quickly from last week's episode. One, the scene to where Max comes to ask Helen a question and Mina immediately thinks that Max is her ex. <laughs> that was hilarious because Max learned that Helen and Cassian broke up and he was completely shocked. At the same time, Max just starts blabbering like an idiot, an adorable idiot, <laughs> saying that him and Helen never dated and that they just spent a lot of time together and that people talk. I love when they do this in TV shows, when there are two people who are not together, but clearly meant for each other, and a side character comes along, that character can instantly pick up on the vibes and the connection that these two characters have without being around them as much or even at all. So I just, ugh, I love that. Another moment that I loved so much was when Helen and Max meet at their favorite spot, which is the rooftop of the hospital. I love that this is their spot between the two of them where they just come to escape and get away from everything. Max tells Helen that he is sorry about her and Cassian breaking up, and that made me laugh. Like, I know he wanted to say the right thing, but on the inside, I'm pretty sure he could, he could care less. Because especially when Cassian and Helen were together and they had that little thing going on, you could tell that Max was hurt and jealous. Which it was cute to see, but, you know, in, you know, in his head, I'm just sure he's thinking, like, he's just happy that his woman is single. So, <laughs> I feel like Max is finally ready to move on from Georgia and start a relationship with Helen. I'm just waiting on the moment where he takes off his ring, then I will know for sure. Helen tells Max how she didn't think that how traumatic it would be to bring Mina to the hospital, considering the passing of her father. Max gives her some great advice and says that, that you can't protect children from that kind of pain and that it helps to not be alone. After that, they hug, and the hug between them was so warm, and you could clearly tell that neither one of them wanted to let go of each other. Like, oh, it was so sweet. 
I love this moment. And I'm just waiting for these two to finally, 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 finally get together. When Helen said that they're, she's really glad that they're friends, that blew me because we all know the truth. But okay. <laughs> okay. My hopes for them is that they will confess their true feelings to each other and get together before the end of season three. These two definitely have a back and forth thing that has been going on for way too long and it needs to end the season. I seriously have a soft spot for TV couples with a will they, won't they, on and off, back and forth energy and I clearly cannot get enough. <laughs> Even though these games are tiring, I kind of live for the angst and the drama, so okay. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was really fun talking about my babies, Max and Helen. I think I will do it again and try to come up with some more content for these two because this was really fun. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts and hopes for Sharpwin for New Amsterdam 3B. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe and see you guys next week.